What's up, YouTube? Nitro Junkie here. Um, got another video for you guys tonight. I'm gonna um, uh, break down another motor. Um, I haven't checked the inside of this motor yet. This is the uh, OS Speed uh, 82, Adam Drake. It's a pretty nice motor here. Um, it's got a lot of power, a lot of low end and mid mid range power. Um, I really like the power band in this motor here. This motor it was broken by uh, by Adam, and it's I've done the uh, the four tanks of break in. And this motor. Since the I got it back from Adam, I've only had about uh, I don't even this motor don't even have half a gallon on it. But anyway, I'm gonna open her up. I haven't had a chance to open it up yet since I got it. Um, and just check out the inside. See, I'm running. It's had VP fuel. I just really like to check out the internals. Anyway, like I said, I haven't had a chance to open it up. And I got the. Uh, 2090 pipe and the 85 millimeter header. Anyway, there's that. So we're going to open her up. Take that off so y'all can see it good. This has the uh, 21J carburetor on it. Really easy to tune. I love the black dot colors on this. It's all black, I love it. All right, let's open her up. Start with the back plate. Hope everybody's had a good 4th of July weekend. I know I did. We just actually just got back from a good fireworks show at, um, at our local church. They do a nice show every year. I, don't, I probably will not, I don't know, I might. We'll see how it goes. I may take the bearings out. Probably not, though. Like I said, this motor only has, like, you don't even have half a gallon on it, so. I basically did the four tanks of break-in after the I got it back from Adam. I bought it directly from Adam. Um, it's got some three-in-one in there. Make sure my piston is at, uh, up top so the back plate doesn't scrub. I give it a little twist. Just kind of shimmy it out. Nice. Wow, that's got a little bit of... That's got a little bit of scrubbing on it. That is weird. What is up with that? You see the markings on it?
Like I said, this motor, it's, it's basically brand new. I mean, it's got so much compression. That's it. That's the size I go in the stroke. Take the, uh, the glow plug out. It's the P3 Gold. These are nice. They burn a little bit hotter, and actually, they're it's they're a little easier to tune. And the idle, man, the idle is great with these. I love these. I actually started using those in my other motor, in my practice motor, my uh, um, Ninja JX21 B01A. Take out this. Take the head button off. I'm about to start putting some some mileage to this this motor here. Oh, look at all that carbon. There's the head button. What is that like? That's weird. Man. There we go. Just make a little bit of this uh, three and one out of it. This motor has been sitting for uh, probably a couple months. see the uh, build up Just from running it rich this has two little sleeves uh, you got a an aluminum and then a, a brass one and this comes with the o-ring to keep the dust and stuff out just give that a little white See the pinch? Pull this, uh, I'm gonna take the piston out.
Come on, baby. I'm gonna take, what am I doing? I gotta take the sleeve out first. Do it. Let me get a, uh, I got my son here with me. He's watching me break it down. He's sitting right here beside me. Say hey, dude. Mm -hmm. This thing is super tight. There we go. I mean, if you need anything. Newer motors, the sleeve comes out really easy like that. As you break it in and get more gallons on it, it um, it's a little bit harder to get it out. See that? There's the sleeve. There's the our, uh, exhaust port. One, two, three port motor. You see the you see the fangs. It's got a little bit of machine work. You can see on the ports there. It also has the, the little notch or dot right there. Most OS speeds have that. Pop the piston out. Always tight. It's on that crank rod really good. Real tight fit. There we go. It's getting some build up. Real lubricated. Let's see, I want to check the stroke on that. Let me. Hey, will you grab my? Or I got them right here. What? I have them. No. Okay. It'd be easier to take it out, but anyway. You want to do that as gently as you can. There's the crank. Let's see, it says 16.55 version 2 on it. You don't see that. Got the two inserts and a couple sheen notches there. Of course, it's uh, DLC coated. Put up a little bit more of the. Uh, yeah.
been lubricated. It's got the filler in it. Check the bearings in here. Nice and smooth. Now that three in one all in there. Got some build up on these. Oh, it kind of it comes off. It's like it's not rust. It's uh, um, like carbon build up. Do you want me to put this way? Yeah, you can put it in there. See, it says a 21J on there. It comes with a. Uh, Let's see, I have a, uh, this, like I said, this motor has all kind of power. Like, too much power almost. I have a 6 mil. it comes with a 6.5 and a 7 millimeter Venturi. I have a 6 mil on the way that I ordered from, um, A-Main Hobbies. Um... Like, on some track, I mean, I even tried, like... I may even on some tracks put the six mil in there and try like I'll put my I run the reds tetra clutch four shoe clutch in both my you know both motors um but I'm thinking I may even on some tracks I'm gonna try out um putting the six mil Venturi in and maybe even run three carbon shoes on my on the Kyosho clutch I'm gonna try that out I'm gonna just play around with different setups for the clutch and see because this I need to tame it down a little bit this thing is it's it's a really powerful motor especially for a buggy but the track my tracks a pretty good size anyway guys there it is OS speed Adam Drake 2 b2101 82 version It's got the blue, okay. you know, the, the common blue bearing that comes in OS speeds, made in Japan. I'm going to throw it back together. Let me get a, let me get a clean shot out. Sure. Do what, bud? Just tell me if you need the refill. I don't need that anymore, but you don't. Not the calipers. Okay. Put the crank back in. It's nice having a, you know. Organized workspace, isn't it? Hear that clicks. Smooth. All right, you always want the your piston here it's got like a little tongue on it you always want that part or the dot you have a dot on the lower side and on the high side the the tongue always faces the exhaust so it goes in like this here Let's see I'm gonna flip it up come on baby There we go. 
go. I'm gonna take a little bit of uh, 3 in one Put a couple drops at rear bearing. And on the All right, you want to take your piston all the way down to the bottom and I'm gonna slowly work the sleeve in. You said slowly. <laughs> yeah you don't want the you don't want to damage your piston anyway you got your exhaust port there this notch right here you line up with this notch or this little so just slowly start it in Tight. That's a tight fit. You know? Kind of. Hold on, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Uh... Let that run down the sides a little bit. There we go. Then you want to slowly play around with the crank and slowly apply pressure here and get it to fall in place. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Make sure it's lined up. Here we go. And it's got a good pinch on it. button a little notch here and you got your little dots there so it goes on this way here you also have a little dot there on the inside you want that to line up with that line there just like that you're posting like way more videos than I am I should try uploading more. Let's see, there isn't really, you could really put this on any way you want, either backwards or forwards, because there's no uh, cutout for the exhaust. But you have a little dot here. So it's supposed to go like this. That's the way I like it. Line it up with the screw holes. You should probably wear gloves next time. Yeah, I do sometimes. Yeah, your hands get pretty smelly and greasy in here. I don't mind it. I actually, I love all the smells of nitro. Yeah, well, what about the grease? I don't mind it. <laughs> I thought you said you didn't use that. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna, um, I only have this on three. I'm gonna put them down on three and then I'll hand tighten them a little bit. Stop. You wanna put it on in, a, in an X pattern? I'm gonna try and get a tripod or something, guys. But for now, we're just gonna use what we built. Yeah, actually, the motor went out in my truck, so I'm actually, next week, I'm putting a brand new motor in my, my truck, my real truck. So that strapped me for cash for a little while.
put the piston up top. Put the back plate on. I like to kind of twist it in place, put it in like so, and then just kind of turn it and twist. Like that there. I want to get a GoPro. So I y'all can get some you know some first person footage of me driving and stuff out of the track. Um, that could potentially be the case. I'm gonna go ahead and put these down. I can do a couple. Yeah, you can do these last. You can do these last two. Go ahead, man. Yeah, sure. Oh, is it the wrong one? No, that's right. Do it till it clicks. There you go. Do the other one. That was pretty fast. Kind of, it's, I know it's weird sometimes. It's, it is weird. It's you gotta up. turn it a little bit. It's been a while since I've, you know. There we go. There you go. Go for it. There you go. Hey, let's go. I'm just gonna give him a little tightening. <laughs> not, I'm just basically making sure they're on. I mean, I'm not even, not much torque at all. I'm gonna throw this back on, make sure this is nice and clean, nothing in it. I've got to tighten these down. You should probably see what type of screwdriver that is. No, this is just, I don't know, RD Logix. This is just some old drivers I had from a long time ago, back years ago when I first got an RC. Now I use the MIP or the Send It tools. Send It tools are pretty good, actually. You ought to check them out. They got a bunch of new stuff on their website. Their servos are also really awesome. Check them out at senditrc.com. All right, guys, that's it. Just add the glow plug and you're good to go. I'm gonna add a little squirt of three and one oil. Three in one, huh? Work that around. This last piece. That's my glow plug goes in there. Oh. Where? But as soon as I put that on, the pressure will build up. So I'm just doing it like this for now. Gotcha. I'm gonna get another. Uh, what I like about this too, it has two holes or two screws. You can get you a, um, a little screw and put in there, a grub screw or whatever on each side. That way you can put your car uh, slider, pull, whatever rubber band or hair tie, whatever you decide to use. I don't use the springs. They just, they don't, they've never really worked for me. Put my glow plug. And you've been using some of the, some of the same pieces to clean stuff for a while. Tighten that down. That's it guys, the OS Speed B2101 Adam Drake 2, it's a great motor. 
anyway thank you guys for checking out my channel uh, please like and subscribe it helps the channel out a lot leave a comment if you have any questions or um, if y'all would like to give me anything you got videos that y'all want me to put out anything I could do I thought about doing like a uh, like a little tuning series or setup series you know going over like um, camber and toe and ride height and stuff like that um, the correct way to do adjustments on stuff like that to get you the right setup wherever you're racing and um, anyway guys just let me know in the comments uh, see you next time